Good morning. It's Thursday again, which means today is um, accounting day. So there's all my accounting stuff there. Uh, up nice and early again, it's half six. Uh, just going to run through uh, solds from yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I've done some uh, pre listing last night, so all I've got to do is put the pictures on the adverts and list them. Uh, and that way. I can sort of crack on with my accounting because uh, it does take a little while to get done. But um, I'll sh start off with showing you what sold yesterday. So again, we've got sales on all three platforms. A sale on Depop, a sale on Vinted and a couple of sales on eBay. Uh, just goes to show, don't put your eggs in one basket. Um, start off with, so we've got this on Depop, literally. I listed it and it sold almost instantly. Uh, came from a recent uh, wholesale order that I got. Uh, went for a full asking price, 24.99, plus 3.99 postage. Uh, then on to Vinted, we got this uh, Benetton, it's basically um, United Colors of Benetton, but uh, it's an old one, made in Italy, Shetland wool. Um, I had it up for 39.99, uh, accepted an offer of 35 pound on Vinted, uh, because obviously no fees. Then on to eBay, uh, I think I, I, I put in my Instagram stories and stuff yesterday. I sold these uh, Imagination X Zords, it was just eight random ones. If you remember a few months ago, I picked up tons of Power Rangers stuff. It's just been sitting in the corner for months waiting for me to list and yeah, listed it. Uh, I put it up cheap anyway, I put it up for £20, someone sent me a £15 offer and I was just like, yep, yeah, snap that up, get some out of the way. Um, they basically don't owe me anything. Everything else that I bought has put me into profit. And then uh, that sold last night. I've been noticing that um, the price on these have been really coming down. So I didn't get 54.99 for it. I sent it out a 45 pound offer um, and it got accepted. Happy to get it out the door. I paid 10 pound for it. They're a little bit of a pain um, posting wise, but nice big box, load of padding it'll be fine um, should go it'll, it'll probably actually go UPS for seven pound fifty roughly something like that so I'll lose out a little bit on the postage but to be fair just happy to get it out the door so yeah there that's what's going out um, I don't think there's anything else going out I'll just have a quick check no that's it so uh, total sales yesterday with postage and everything after fees obviously the postage will knock it down. Well, I'll tell you what, we won't we won't include the postage. Um, so 45, 15, so that's 60, plus 25, 85, plus 35, 110 before fees. So after fees, probably around about the 95 pound mark, something like that. Not too bad a day yesterday. Um, I might be going and picking up some electricals later. I've uh, sent someone an offer and just waiting to hear back on that. So if I do go and pick them up, I will show you them. But um, this is just going to be a real quick video today. I haven't really got much to show you. As I say, I've done, done the listing. Um, I mean, if you, well, I'll tell you what actually we can do. Um, I'll show you how I cross list because uh, it'll be nice and easy. So, uh, right, we're over to our uh, our screen here. Um, we're going to go to create listing. As I say, I've already uh, done the pictures and stuff and started the the uh, things. So we'll go into our jumpers. We want. Gap jumper, so this is a rather nice jumper. I think this will do quite well. Uh, so, say, so all this is basically been done. We're going to put use there. We're going to mark down that the uh, the the cuffs. Oh, sorry, my breakfast for the day was all there, was all in the way. So, let's move that away for a minute. Uh, cuffs slightly. And oh, if you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves, we're still um, refusing to turn the heating on at the moment. <laughs> and marks as 
Richard. Hopefully you're looking at the screen and not the keyboard. Uh, copy that. Paste it. Cut that. And then I've, I've got loads of templates pre-made. So just insert the template. Paste that in. Right, let's change that from excellent to very good because it, it's not in excellent condition but it's in very good um, and then in the pictures I, I put like the sizes but I also put in the text so we've got 20 by 19 24 so 24 20 19 let's just make sure I've done all the item specifics correct yeah yep 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 yep, 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 yep. And then list. Right, what I'll do is I'll finish off the other two and then I'll bring you back when we're on zip sale. Right, so here we are on zip sale. I've um, been seeing people's like on the um, groups and stuff saying that it's quite complicated and they don't understand how to use it. Not really too sure why they're struggling. It Initially, when you first do it, it, it does look a little bit overwhelming, but. Um, once you set up your account um, and added all your your selling platforms, which is really it's not that hard. Um, you just literally go over to marketplaces here and just connect, and that's it. Um, let's just refresh, Vinted, just as. Um, the reason it's, it's whinging about my Shopify is because I, I did try a Shopify account, but um, I didn't really get on with it. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, so you go over to import items now. It depends um, where you mainly sell from, but obviously I mainly sell on eBay. So I click on eBay, click on import. Right, okay, and then you'll get this come up. Now obviously these are the three things that I listed this morning so I tick them off click on uh, actually I might put that one on as well click on import there you go <clears throat> then once it's imported they come through here uh, sometimes you might get an easy thing that just says list like that but um, most of the time you'll have to go into them and change a few little things so obviously we'll go on to the depop one we'll depop still only let you have four pictures so we'll get rid of loads of the pictures that are unneeded like that so obviously what I usually try and do is leave the front the back the tag and the worst of any condition issues uh, leave all that the same come down uh, you can fill these bits in if you want doesn't really make too much of a difference and obviously just come down here and do your size um, you can preset these in your parameters up at the top um, I can't remember whereabouts it is but you can you can also click the help button down there if you don't know but I have mine all set on 399 postage unless it's like a heavier item then you can obviously come in and change it you can change anything that um, Zip sale think that the, the item is so the very odd occasion I've had like these sorts of things come into the wrong category but usually that will only go into the wrong category if there's no category like the one that you're using on eBay um, or if you haven't done enough item specifics on eBay for them to fill out here so like for example the color um, you usually get that quite a lot with um, Depop but to be fair unless someone's color blind they can see the color of the item and then just save and list a Depop and then it will bring you on to your next verified um, or verified like added account so we're now onto Vinted we don't need to delete any of the pictures on Vinted the only thing I find with Vinted is they don't like loads of capital letters in the title so if like for example um, you put uh, Shetland all in capitals there uh it it won't it won't like it anyway so yeah um 
Sorry, I just realised that the title was wrong, so because um, it's not Shetland Wall, you don't want to be mis-selling stuff. <laughs> so I'll have to go into it, back into eBay, and it was something obviously I missed when uh, I was making them yesterday. But anyway, um, with Vinted, uh, it'll do the same thing. Um, it'll pre uh, car um, it'll put the things in the, into the correct character. I cannot talk. It'll put it into that section there. <laughs> Um, and then obviously you want to make sure the condition is what you put it. The only thing you usually you have to do in here is is do the color, the size, and then the package size. So um, usually things, anything from t-shirts to jumpers, um, I'll put in a small category. Um, coats and anything slightly bigger, medium, and then. Um, anything bigger than that would be large so you just got to be careful with what you put things in um, basically I think small is 0 to 2 kilograms medium is 2 to 5 and then large is 5 and up so obviously the jumper will go into small and then um, if, you're very, if you're up on Facebook then obviously you can do the same with Facebook but I'm not going to bother with um, Facebook with clothing and stuff because it's just not going to fetch what you're asking for. So um, you can then go back up to my items and do the same thing again. Uh, the only thing you have to be careful of is if you sell something on Vinted or even on Facebook, um, there's no auto D list. So if it sells on one of those platforms, you have to manually go in and remove them from eBay and Depop or anywhere else you're selling them but usually what I'll do is um, the second something sells on any platform I'll go in before the the system can delete them anyway just uh, be safe but yeah so that's how I use Zipsal um, as I say I might be going and picking up some electricals a little bit later I'm not too sure so if not this will be the end of the video if not there'll be a little bit more on top so I did go and pick up all the electrical stuff. Well, I got most of the electrical stuff. Couldn't fit it all in my car. The person didn't want to be on camera or anything, which is fair dues. Totally respect that. Uh, but yeah, got a lot of stuff. And um, probably got that again still to collect. So yeah, I'm going to be busy for a little while. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a like, give it a subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.